Oh, hello and welcome. It's Amanda here. Welcome to another week of journals where I share an art journal with you, hopefully to inspire and encourage you to be creative. If you want to see how oops, <laughs> the journals are made, then please leave a comment. If I get enough comments, then I'll do a tutorial. There are some that I will show you, um, maybe like this one. And um, yeah, if you want to make something like this, you'll be able to, no problem. So here's a little journal and I want to know if you can guess what it's made of. And um, I want you to put your comment down below. If you can tell me what um, yeah, if you if you can think about guessing what it's made of before I move on to the next section. But let's open it up to the middle. Is that the middle? Nope. There we go. Can you guess yet? Okay. So, <laughs> if not, <laughs> I'll tell you. So, these are made from envelopes. So I had a load of envelopes that obviously there were cards to them because I wanted to get into making my own cards. I do a little bit, but I don't actually make cards where you're... Um, I usually use my prints as cards. Anyway, so if you open up the envelope and then you fold it, you get this shape and you can see the bit here. I don't know what that means. <laughs> if you can see the bit there, you're saying to yourself. But if you imagine opening it up and having it that way and then folding up the edges. So this is where the edges fold up. So I thought, let me, um, what happened to them is they had got, um, they'd faded. Even though they're in a bag they faded so I thought let me see what I can do with it and I decided to make this journal it's one signature I've put one five I think five envelopes together stitched it down the middle and put a piece of paper down the middle and just stuck it over the stitch bit so that if I'm adding paint and stuff it's not going to um, come come out uh, or become loose. Okay so as well as lots of paint and stuff I've got lots of <laughs> glitter <laughs> And so I wanted to see how um, I could, again, use up some of the glitter, but use it in projects. It's just like I brought it to use in projects, so why not use it? So um, here, this is done on double-sided uh, tape. And then here, what I did was I mixed see I mixed the glue with the glitter and um, and then just pushed it through a stencil so that's a, an easy way to use some of your supplies but also create some interest on in your journal yeah this is a tiny mini journal let's see how I mean it depends what size your envelopes are but this is four and a half inches by, yeah, four and a half inches by four and a half. I guess the, um, because the envelope was five by five. Um, okay, so let's look in there. And I've just gone over some of the pages and just added glitter, um, added the glitter and the glue. As I say, mixed them together and then allowed them to dry. And let's go through them first. And I've just added it randomly on pages. The other thing I've done was um, I've taken a lot of the, the paper that I would have had or that I have 
um, that I use as collage paper, I use in journals, and again, it is just a way of adding interest to the page and, you know, creating something that is visually stimulating. And I've used some stencils in here as well. But I've done these in different sittings. So initially it was, let me add paper and then and, and card. And, you know, this is handmade paper with plant material in it. Let me use up all the little bits of scraps that I might have. Let me add paint. Let me add the glue with the glitter in. And again, make some really nice things on the page. And this is a stencil as well. And these pages are waiting for me to come back and use them. I like some of the colour combinations, I like these two colour combinations. Again, pattern paper that I haven't used, they're like cut out shapes. It's just like, again, they've just been sitting there, but I actually really like them in here and I can create something around them. So it's given yourself room to experiment and you'll come up with things that you may not have originally thought when you look at, you know, these these little bits of things I was gonna just chuck them away because it was just like I'm never gonna use them and then it was just like put them in this mini journal it's got all the little bits in so why not and if it's interesting um, you know paint little shapes somebody sent me a whole bag of shapes and it was just like okay if I was heavily into paper craft it would have been you know, really useful, but it was n it was nice. Don't get me wrong, to receive them, and now I realise, you know, this is what you've been missing in terms of, you know, creating something with them. You just had them in a thing and said, oh, well, I'm not making cards at the moment. You know, I'm painting. So, but these little handmade journals are a great way to express yourself. So what we will be doing um, is, over the next few weeks, now you've seen a few, I'll be also sharing me doing some pages so that you can see um, and be inspired. And uh, yeah, is there one that is inspiring me at the moment? No, and that's okay. It's just this one, I really like this. So, this is what I'm going to do. Hmm. There we go. That's all I feel like doing in here today. I've been doing lots of um, artwork at the moment. And again, I might go to another page and think, oh, I just feel like adding some lines. So that then when you come back, you know, you've got it in there, it might inspire you to do something else. There we go. Just leave it there. So that's this one. Oh, this was, um, I've got a cricket 
it's a really old one I think it's when they first came out and I cut out some flower shapes and cut out some discs and put a little bride there it looks pretty doesn't it so remember to come back remember to subscribe to the channel and I will see you again very soon